Here's a little uh, toast to those of you who are staying up late for this spooky show and joining us. Shall we try to make another spirit appear? What do you think? Yes. Oh, oh I think I see one now. Uh -oh. <laughs> what perfect timing in the world of magic. Woof. That's all right. Why don't you sit right there? I said sit. <laughs> <laughs> Face the audience. Thank you. I know you're awfully excited about that event at the pizza parlor last night, aren't you? <laughs> Why don't you Aww. hold on to her for a moment, Jeannie? <laughs> and all of you gaze upon this glass. Let us conjure a spirit together. Linda and Gus, how are you this evening? Good. Place the scarf over the glass. Everyone recite the ancient sound of Om. Oh. Oh. I hear a spirit coming. I hear the spirits appearing, and sometimes as a gelatinous mass known as ectoplasm, sometimes a thin mist or even a thick one. But if you see any spirit at all, let us hear your applause. Ooh. The spirits are here along with Whoa. our little birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'd like to see how all of you look this evening. I haven't had as much of a chance as I like yet. If you could all switch to gallery view for me. Uh -oh. I'm going to choose a person from the audience all across the United States of America tonight to join in a magical experiment. And Paloma, you'll be part of it, all right? I know you're having a good time. <laughs> oh, Paloma. Who do you see who you like there? What a fine looking group. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, Ravana, oh, nice to see you. And Kathy, Michelle, Rhea. Oh, there's Karen. Hello, Karen. It's been too long. Oh, how about this gentleman at the top, Leo Halen. How are you tonight, sir? Leo, could you unmute yourself so we can hear you? Cannot hear you. It's all right. He's. Uh, we're all new to this technology there, so he's, he's mm. muted, he's, he's unmuted. Or turn your volume There we up. go, right there. No, now he's muted, now he's unmuted. <laughs> go ahead and turn your volume up, Leo. Yeah, he's a very mm. dapper looking gentleman. Looks like he could work in a, a morgue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't hear you, sir. I I'll don't believe what. he has the right microphone mm. uh, set up, so that's probably what's going magic on. Magic mic. <laughs> 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 nice. Sir, just give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Leo, can you hear us? Can you give us a thumbs up if you hear us? Well, now he. Oh, there. Okay. Yep. He yes. Can hear us. He all can right. Hear us. So you can hear me, but I can't hear you. That's all right. Uh, if you're ready for an experiment, he wants five he experiments, wants five. he says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, yes, so it is. It sounds there like okay. cell me... phone commercials, doesn't it? Can you hear me now? There we can go. You hear me make now? sure you can hear me. Yes. Okay. Yes, we can hear you now. How are you tonight, sir? I'm doing great. Sorry about the technical difficulties. I didn't know you were going to choose me. So, <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? That's all right. Are you enjoying the show, sir? It's fantastic. It's very good. Thank all you. Right. Thank you for having me here. Thanks for being had. <laughs> well, a little bird just told me that you'd be the perfect participant for this, but you have to believe in magic. Do you believe? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> if you could just put your hand to the screen, to your screen, just okay. a hand. Like this? Yes. Like this? Yes. Now take it away so we can see you. Okay. Unless Mystical Maya wants to read your palm. I don't know if we have time for that right now, though. <laughs> All right, Leo, no. I'm going to pass the huh. bird to you through the magic of the internet. Yeah, okay. Until I'll play along. Whatever. <laughs> 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 Sir, has anybody... Has anyone ever given you the bird before? <laughs> uh, every day in traffic in Miami. 
<laughs> Miami traffic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're in Florida. Fantastic. What do you do yes, there in Florida? I, well, I'm uh, a music teacher. A music nice. teacher. Fabulous. We yeah. love nice. It. And do you like animals? Uh, yes, I love animals. I have a couple of cats, but they're upstairs, so I think. Okay. <laughs> yes, because cats and birds don't mix too well, do they, Paloma? <laughs> so here we go, my friend. We'll try an experiment just now. I'm okay. going to try to pass the bird to you right through the screen. If you believe in magic, all you have to do is put your hand to the screen and see if you can pull the bird back. Are you ready? I'm ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone else ready to see some strange miracle tonight? Yes. 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 All right. Yeah. Ready, Paloma? Right toward the screen. <laughs> okay, show me the magic. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't believe it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How the hell did you do that, Majin? Paloma, <laughs> you're amazing. What? <laughs> is this your bird, Paloma? Look, everyone, look, it's Paloma. Yeah. Oh my God, how do you do that? Now just hold her it's like amazing. this. She won't, she won't fly away. She's very tame, very well trained, and she's a magic bird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could you tell can, us? You all see, can you all see Paloma? Look at that. Yes. <laughs> I, I That's can't amazing. Believe uh, do, is there anything else that you do aside from being a school teacher, Leo? Well, it's kind of creepy. I don't really want to talk about it, but okay. Well, now that since your theme is Halloween, I guess it's okay. I have a second job. I, I, I by day I'm a music teacher, and at night I'm a um. I, I work at an animal crematorium. A, oh. a what? Don't hear that every day. A, a, an animal what? <laughs> animal crematorium at a, at a pet cemetery. A, cre a crematorium. That's pet what cemetery. Yeah, it's the second what? job. Wait. People, uh, no, I, I, I'm a teacher by trade, but at night to earn some extra money, I work at a crematorium. Oh, wow. So I was right. It, it is like a morgue. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it was nicely. That was a good guess. That was a lucky guess. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Actually, I, I feel funny asking you about this, but because of the pandemic, I'm able to do a lot of work here at my house. And yeah. I was wondering, it, uh, it's, it's too creepy. I, I was going to ask you if you and your friends would like to see some of the things that I use and cremating some recently deceased pets, but that's that's horrible. Mm. You wouldn't want to see that, would you? No. Yeah, I want to see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By overwhelming response, um, I know the mom will be okay right, since well, she's reincarnatable. I, I can go downstairs. Oh, wait, 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 Minjinga, Minjinga. Yes. Since I have your bird, do you think it'd be okay if I used her as a model to, just to show everyone how everything works? I mean, don't worry, no oh, harm will come to your no. animal whatsoever. No, oh no. no. <laughs> relax, relax. I'm not going to cremate your bird. It's your pet. I would never do that. It should just be a model. Just to no. show how everything works. Would you all be interested in seeing some of my crematorium things downstairs yeah. that I have here at the house? Yeah. Did we trust him, Magic Genie? <laughs> <laughs> I, guess we I, think I, a, I think I heard a I think I heard a Stephen there. King novel like this before. <laughs> 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 oh, all right. As long as you promise no harm comes to the bird, let's see what you have. Okay, perfect. Great. And what okay, everybody let me go get some pants on and go downstairs. I've got another laptop down there and, and I'll I'll meet up with you and everyone in just a moment, okay? Okay. All right. That's fine. Good luck, Paloma. <laughs> and to you, Magic Juju. Oh my everybody God. please cross your fingers that no harm comes to this little bird. <laughs> oh. Although, like I told you, she is immortal and she can reincarnate, so I'm not that worried. That's the phoenix. How many of you believe in reincarnation? Oh well, welcome God. back. <laughs> and it looks like Leo is, in fact, joining us. All right, sir. Let's see what you can do. Here we have the cremation box. 
It's a regular four-sided box with a removable floor. You see, the removable floor makes it so much easier to clean after the cremation process. And this is a box that we would use for small guinea pigs, hedgehogs, and well, of course, birds such as yours. Now, let's have the moment come out and help us demonstrate the cremation box. Here we go. There we go, you just wait right here. Now see how nicely a sized bird like yours fits beautifully inside the box. Now some people think that we go through some sort oh, of no. elaborate process when we do the cremation, but we don't. We simply light a match, drop it in the box, and let the fire take care of the rest. Of course, I will not light your precious glow on my fire. She is indeed still very much alive and still very much your pet. But I'm simply demonstrating. Ouch! Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jenga. That was an accident, I swear. Oh, that's so sad. Please forgive me. Oh, you didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You didn't miss anything. Accidents do happen, don't they? But all is not lost. This does give me the opportunity to present one of our newer items, a beautifully decorated pet urn for the containment of the ashes of your recently deceased woman. Some burnt feathers. Nothing left but poor Hulu. Nothing at all. Oh. She is gone. Oh. Oh my. Uh -uh. <laughs> Simply a pile of ash and feathers, which I will wrap in this beautiful white silk and place in the urn. I may have made a mistake. And now, with total <laughs> sorrow and regret. I present to you the remains of poor Paloma. May she rest in peace. No. Please, Minty, take the urn through the ether. From my home in Florida back to yours in California. Take the urn, Majinga. Take the urn! Uh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, well. There it is, there's the urn. And just like he said, there's the ashes. Just a single feather left. Did you invite this guy? <laughs> My friends, we're all going to have to work for a little bit harder Halloween magic. Everybody say, Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween. Halloween. Halloween! Remember, my friend, these are just illusions, and Paloma <gasps> is, in fact, Heart <laughs> Phoenix. Welcome back, Paloma! And oh thank God. you very thank much, God. Leo. We're so happy to have met you, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank God that she's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I have a feeling everything went as planned. <laughs> Thank you.